All right, so we were looking at these connectors earlier. Like I said, I'm just gonna snip off these old connectors. Try to make sure I can get everything, stay in the camera here. And these are just a pair of snips I came with your 3D printer. Just cut those off as close to the edge as I can. I'll pull off the old shrink wrap. And then I'm going to use my fancy pair of strippers here, but when I say fancy, these are like $20. But these things are really wonderful. Let me see if I can get up here better. Because you can set a depth gauge here as to how much you're going to strip off and then clip down, and they just pop off the housing or the sheathing the insulation there without digging into the wires like if you try to use um, you know a knife you could go like this the same way on here now this insulation on these wires I'll give Creality credit this is some nice decent silicone wire here um, Probably not cut towards myself. Being a Boy Scout leader, I definitely know better. I'll pull those off. Same thing. <laughs> trying to do this on my phone. deep on those so we'll just trim them back and we'll fire up my soldering iron and some solder. I think this solder cost me like three dollars at Micro Center. The soldering iron I'm using here is not fancy. It's like a well, it's a four, it's a fancy unit. It's got digital readout and all that and a ceramic tick bit tick in here, but it was like forty dollars on Amazon. A ten or twenty dollar one actually will easily do the same thing here. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to keep these together so these don't move. And ideally, I would have these in a clamp right now to hold on to them because this is going to get hot. Yeah, what do you know? 3D printing to the rescue. I just actually happen to have that just sitting nearby. So, I'm going to heat this up, oh, before I do things first, the thing you always forget is your heat shrink wrap. So I'm going to cut off, the shrink wrap came with my XT60 connectors. About an inch. This might be a good time for me to throw in my disclaimer. I am not an electrician. I am a graphic designer by trade and a person who never let the fact that I didn't know how to do something stop me. Just meant I had more stuff to learn. So I'm sure there are probably real electricians out there and folks out there watching me right now that are cringing 
but that's okay. They can make a response video and show, tell what I'm doing wrong. I can get my camera and my wiring better shape here. So I've got this pool of solder down in here, liquid, and I got it good and full. I'm just gonna get that on there, and I got my shrink wrap on here. And pull that out and shove that in. Pretty quickly, that's on. So now we'll just do the other side here. Put my shrink wrap on here. Oh, and something I forgot to mention when I was jumped away there is this is flux, which is used just for cleaning these connections. This is actually some that came with my soldering iron that I've had for years. You just dab that on our wire and melt it off and it just kind of cleans things up so they stick better. Then we'll fill this one up. With solder. Shove it down in there. Now that's on there good. And because I kept these connected, these haven't moved inside of here. This thing's hot. It's really hot. There's a lot of heat flowing out of there into these parts. Um, but keeping those on there keeps everything lined up together. Yeah, these are really hot on this end. So now we'll do the same thing on the other side. But rather than try to fiddle with that, I'm going to go into my bag. See, this, this bag here I bought for like $8 on Amazon when I was working on a quadcopter. So, I need the female end. There's another female. We will leave that one on there while that cools off. We'll take another female and a male connection, put them together. And never hurts to double check again, right? That's the male, female. So over here on this end, Female, that's the one we're gonna work on. So we want it up, stick that in, back in our clamp. Slide on our shrink wrap. Tap those in our flux. And make sure we get around so we can see what's going on here. Soldering iron. Okay, we got our positive on this side. And when you're doing these, if you're a little, you're a little worried about and cautious, or be a, you know, self-conscious and want to practice, because these things are so cheap, like I said, 10 of them for like $8, grab some scrap wire and practice. Yeah. There we go. This is going to be our 
a red one. Nope, not fast enough. Solder does set up pretty quickly. There we go. We'll spend a little bit more time getting that connector warm before we shove solder in it. Got in a hurry because I was trying to make a video earlier. If you go a little bit slower, the solder can actually flow out and make contact and heat it up as it goes in and rapidly heat up that connector. So we've got it flowing. It's good light here. My shrink wrap's on there. Stick that down in there. We're good. So there's the soldering part done. Now you can use a cigarette lighter or aim and flame or something like that to Set this shrink wrap. <laughs> Sorry about the camera there. I've got my arm stuck on a CD ROM and I'm bouncing my arm on it. But my fancy $40 soldering station has a hot air gun on it. And it is awesome for shrink wrap. You're not going to burn it. Get out of control like you might with a lighter and gives you a lot more control now slide that up it's pulling back on me the cool thing about a heat gun like this is they're also really helpful for the 3D printing for like reshaping and manipulating PLA, get it just a little warm and you can ply it around. Actually the reason I got this sitting out right now is a project I'm working on with some 3D printed parts that weren't fitting quite right. It allowed me to re get them warm again and re kind of mush them in together. Push those down. Get this shrink wrap came with my the XT60 connectors when I bought them, but it is super cheap. When you start playing around with any electrical stuff, just load up on it. You get it at Harbor Freight, really cheap. There we go. Now we should be able to pull these off, put those back together. And um, put them underneath.
Got my prayer turned around backwards. I have a real short cable on it. And printer came on. So our wiring is good. And now that we got these real XT60 connectors in here, I'm gonna turn this back off. These are a lot harder to pull apart than these ones. Oh, than the ones that we cut off. So, not a big deal, pretty easy. Nothing to be scared of. Basic, basic tools here that we did this. If you got any questions, hit me up.